This cinnamon Danish pastry has flaky, thin, crispy layers on the outside and they are super soft, fluffy and moist inside. Usually we need a lot of time and effort to make these pastries but in this recipe we are going to make them in a simple and easy method. We don't need to do repeated foldings or we don't want to keep the dough in fridge several times in between and in this recipe we do single proofing and so we can save a lot of our time. Another good thing is that I've not used milk or egg to prepare the dough and we use comparatively less butter than a commercial pastry sheet so its calorie count is less than a regular pastry. So in this video let's see how to make this delicious Danish pastry. As the first step let's prepare the pastry dough. Into this bowl I'm adding water, sugar, salt and yeast and stir until all our ingredients get to salt. Then I'm adding flour. Combine them all together. Transfer the dough onto a clean work surface. Now we need to knead the dough for about 4 to 5 minutes or until we get a smooth dough. Our dough will be sticky in the beginning of kneading but that's okay just continue to knead and in about a few minutes of kneading it will all come together and will form a smooth dough. We got a smooth dough and now I'm dividing it into 10 equal parts. I'm using a kitchen scale so that we can divide them precisely. Now take one portion of the dough, place it on a lightly floured work surface, flatten the dough and then simply tuck in the edges towards the centre and then form it into a small round ball. We finished all of them. Let them sit for about 10 to 15 minutes so that the gluten strands will get some time to relax and thus it will show more elasticity and thus less tendency to rebound back while we roll them out. So it's been 10 minutes. I'm taking one of them and place it on a well flowered work surface and then roll it into a circle of approximately 16 to 18 centimeters in diameter. And now we need to smear about 3 fourths of a tablespoon of butter on each layer. I'm trying to spread it evenly as possible so that it forms a thin even layer of butter. Now I'm placing this onto a plastic film. Take the second one and do the same steps and stack them onto the top of the previous one. And simply repeat this until we are done with all the 10 pieces. Now we prepared the butter layers but as the butter is very soft now it will be difficult for us to work with this so we need to keep this in the freezer for 30 to 35 minutes so that the butter will be more stiff. After 35 minutes in freezer the butter is not very soft now and it is pliable and it is now more easy for us to work with the dough. So 
roll it into a long rectangle. I'm smearing the top with a very thin layer of butter. This layer of butter will help to spread the cinnamon sugar evenly. And for the filling, I've taken 90 grams of sugar. Into this, I'm adding a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. And spread the cinnamon sugar evenly on top. I'm also adding some raisins. Now I'm rolling it from the longest side just as we roll a jelly roll. As this dough cylinder is very soft, we may find it difficult to divide it with a knife. So the best way that we can do this is by using a thread. Place each of them onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Press and flatten each of them so that they form a circle of approximately 8 to 10 centimeters in diameter. And now they are all ready for proofing. So let's keep the baking tray covered at room temperature for about one and a half to two hours or until they get puffed up nicely. As this contain a lot of butter and the dough is slightly cold, it need slightly more proofing time than a regular bread dough. After proofing, we may not find doubling in size as a bread dough, but to understand if they have proofed well, at around 2 hours of proofing, poke the pastry with your finger and if you find the intent remains there without any rebounding, it means that our pastries are proofed well. And before taking them into the oven, let's give an egg wash which will give a nice shine and golden color to our pastry when baked. Now they are all ready to go into the oven. So bake it at a 400 degree Fahrenheit or 200 C preheated oven for 22 to 25 minutes. After baking, we'll get the best pastries that are light and airy. The top of the pastry has got beautiful, fine, crispy, flaky texture. And the inside is so soft, moist and fluffy. And they have a pleasant aroma of cinnamon and our home smells like a bakery now. If you want to give them an extra glaze, smear the top with some diluted apricot jam. And this cinnamon raisin danish rolls are one of my favorite pastries and it's so good that we can make bakery style pastries at home and in this way we can not only enjoy delicious pastries but also can get rid of all those transhydrogenated fats and preservatives and I hope you found this recipe useful, hope you found this simple and easy to make and I hope you will make this at home and I'm pretty sure you will love this. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and please don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family who love pastries and thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video. See you next time.